Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. We all know the importance of a good set of wheels on our mountain bike, but when you're riding a lighter bike like a road, cross, gravel bike, it's even more important to have a quality, light set of wheels. And when I built my versatile Trek Crockett, I talked about these C1800 DT Swiss wheels as being a very good budget set of wheels that will help you build something like this. But just like everybody else, as soon as I built it, I started thinking about an upgraded wheel set. So let's take a look at what I ended up with. And because for my mountain bike I had a very good experience with the Elite wheels, I reached out to them and they sent me a set of their new G45 wheels. They are part of their drive series of wheel sets and they're pretty special because the spokes they use are made out of carbon. And that makes these the first gravel wheel sets with carbon spokes that are supposed to give you better power transfer, more comfort overall, not to mention the weight of this wheel set. Also, Elite Wheels were super nice to extend my 15% discount for their wheel sets. So if you're interested in a wheel set like this, take a look in the description, take advantage of it. These are shipped in a branded Elite Wheels box, even nicer than what you get for your mountain bike wheels. The little baggies with what's called extra parts and obviously the wheels. And I'm pretty sure the name of this wheel set G45 comes from the rim profile. This is a 45 millimeter height rim profile. Internally, you have 24 millimeters. Externally, this is 31. As you can see, it comes pre-taped, it's tubeless ready and you also have the tubeless valves installed. This little sticker tells you that the hubs use ceramic bearings, more about that later. Also the ERD of these rims, maximum weight for the wheels, which is 130 kilograms. And on the other side, you're gonna see the recommended tire width from 25C to 43C. Remember, this is a 24 millimeter ID rim. Rims finish is outstanding is that marble that you've seen on my mountain bike wheels the only problem that i found with this finish is that it could scratch easily however even if they're scratched up it's hard to tell because of that marble finish of the rim otherwise it looks really really nice as for the drive branding here for the series this is the silver, they also have an option in black. Also the rim finish, I am pretty sure they would offer different finishes if you are not in love with the marble. The two more stickers on the opposite side, one say tubeless compatible, which we know already, and the other one ceramic bearings. And if this sticker next to the valve can be easily removed, this is a decal. I am not sure that we can remove these other two looks like that clear coat is right on top of them so you'll have to live with that probably because of the strength of the carbon spokes and the rim overall these are built with 20 spokes only you have secure lock aluminum nipples and they're connected to a straight pull hub you see here the center lock interface an asymmetrical lacing pattern you have radial on this side and two cross on the other side and here on the hub shell another sticker that says drive and ceramic for the bearings included in here overall this looks really neat and definitely premium so first impression is very good wheels are only available in through axles so 12 by 100 12 by 142 you actually get the through axles in that little uh, extra parts bag and you have a product manual included as well if you want to they can send you the adapters from center lock to is6 bolts so keep that in mind Carbon bladed spokes are not only lighter and stiffer, but they offer a better fatigue life compared to the steel spokes. And not only that the spokes look different, but they are probably pretty hard to find unless you order a few spares with your set of wheels. And you can see here the nipple that's used with these rims, which is rather unique as well. And pretty much everything I said about the front wheel, including 20 spokes, applies to the rear wheel. This is built two cross on both sides. You can see that sticker here on the hub shell. 
and you can see the 1011 Shimano Freeha body that is nicely colored in purple. However, if you want SRAM XD or XDR, they offer that as well. This allows us to take a look at what's inside. This is a four paw Freeha body and you can easily install or remove with two 17 millimeter uh, flat wrenches. You see the flat spots here on the end caps and the thread inside. I also assume that these use the same ceramic bearings made by NBK. You get 36 teeth here on the free hub, so that gives you 10 degrees of engagement. As for the sound of this hub, this is pretty loud. I want to cover your ears now. But at the start of the video, I mentioned weight as one of the reasons why you would go for something like this. So what's the weight of these wheels? My rear wheel comes up to 724 grams. Front is right at 620 or 21 grams. And together the wheel set comes up to 1342 grams. These are specified as 1300 plus or minus 30 grams. That's not too bad for a 45 millimeter depth rim wheel set. The name G45 suggests that these wheels are made for gravel. Maybe that's because gravel is the buzzword of today. But realistically speaking, you can use these for road, cross, gravel, anything in between. In my case, I am planning to take advantage of that 24 millimeter ID. So I'm gonna run these Victoria Terreno Dry tires that are outstanding. These are gonna be 38 that actually fit my Trek Crockett, believe it or not. But overall, I'm looking forward to take advantage of that lighter wheel set and I can't wait to actually put a couple of rides on these wheels. So what do you guys think? Are you interested in any of these G45s from Elite Wheels? Are you planning to take advantage of that 15% discount in the description? Let me know below. Hope you found this useful. And if you did, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. And until next time, I hope to see you folks on the trails. Cheers, guys. Cheers.